third round, we go back to the buzzers again. This is pretty much just like the first round, except questions are worth three points each, or possibly four. They get in early enough and get the PowerPoint. So here we go. It originated when the Keith Albee Orpheum Theater chain and the Film Booking Offices of America Studios were purchased by RCA in 1928. A current successor of this name exists mainly to facilitate remakes of pic pictures that originated in its heyday. They stopped movie production in 1959, but continued owning television stations until 1991. Name this three-initial film studio that released Bill. MGM. Uh, no, I'll finish the question. That released King Kong and Citizen Kane, and whose logo? Craig. RKO. RKO is right, and that puts you up to 18. Famous logo is a transmitting tower atop a portion of the globe. A married couple takes their adopted HIV positive son to their former to her former home to live. The boy has an imaginary friend who lives in a cave by the beach and wears a sack mask. The son, named Simone, disappears during a children's party, and Benigna, a woman posing as a social worker, is suspe suspected of abducting him. This is the plot of what 2007 Spanish language horror movie directed by Juan Antonio Bayona. Jeff? The Orphanage? Yes. That's correct. Four, three points, and that gets you to 17. <clears throat> she directed Searching for Deborah Winger, a series of interviews primarily with prominent actresses about the challenges work and family life posed for women in Hollywood. In Pulp Fiction, she played Jody, the wife of Lance, Vincent Vega's heroin dealer. Name this actress from a prominent bill. Uma Thurman. Uh, no, I'll uh, finish the question. Name this Craig. Rosanna Arquette. That's yeah. correct. For uh, three points, and that gets you to 21. In exchange for appearing in Eat My Dust, Roger Corman allowed him to direct his first film, Grand Theft Auto. Although his The Da Vinci Code was on many top ten worst lists of 2006, it is the highest grossing film he has directed. Name this director of Frost Nixon, Apollo 13, Craig. Ron Howard. That's correct. For three points, you're up to 24. It's the musical instrument played by Sidney Wells in The Eye. Frau Blucher and Frederick separately. Craig. Violin. That's correct. For three points, gets you up to... 27. He played one part of a love triangle with Lars Hansen and Greta Garbo in Flesh and the Devil. This actor was engaged to Garbo, but she never showed up for the wedding, and he instead got into a fight with Louis B. Mayer that supposedly ruined his acting career. Who is this silent film star considered second only to Valentino as a screen lover during the 1920s? No answer. That was uh, John Gilbert. Born in Vienna, this musical prodigy was taught by Johannes Brahms and Gustav Mahler. After working for a few years on Broadway, he went to Hollywood and broke through with his music for King Kong, named as composer of the scores for such films as The Big Sleep, A Summer Place, and Gone with the Wind. Craig? Herman? Uh, no. Bill or Jeff? No answer. Oh, that's... Uh, no answer. That's uh, Max, Max Steiner is that one. Okay. As three boys write their name in wet sidewalk concrete, two plainclothes policemen, Jeff. Uh, Mystic? Mystic River? That's correct. Uh, uh, early enough, that's four points, and that gets you to 21. She watched her future husband defend her father's castle when portrayed by Sherry Lungi in Excalibur. In another depiction, she is a woad warrior who apparently, Jeff. Guinevere? That's right, four, three points, and you're up to 24. <clears throat> His only on-screen appearance was as the director of the movie Something's Cookin' within the film Who Framed Roger Rabbit. While an undergraduate at Lafayette College, he claims to have invented Ultimate Frisbee in 1970. Who is this man that runs Dark Castle Entertainment and received producer credit for the Lethal Weapon movies and the theatrical Speed Racer uh, feature? Jeff? Schumacher? Uh, no. Bill or Craig? No. That was Joel Silver. Some critics noticed it bore strong resemblance to the 1973 movie Your Three Minutes Are Up, starring Ron Liebman and Bo Bridges. Jack LaPate gets his nose broken by a motorcycle helmet from a botched love affair just before his wedding and purposely drives his car into a tree to explain his injuries to his Jeff. Uh, to Craig, I'm sorry. Sideways? Yes. Sorry about that? Yes. All right, next one. He was the director <clears throat> and cinematographer of Born to Boogie, and he edited Son of Dracula. He's played a pope, a caveman, and Frank Zappa, but he's best known as a musician. Name his drummer, Bill. Ringo Starr. That's right. For a three points, that gets you to 18. The, Polish, the son of a Polish nuclear physicist, he was born in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. He played in the band Cylon Boys Choir and won Clio Awards for his work on the Budweiser Frog commercials. Name his director of Mouse Hunt, Pirates of the Caribbean, Curse of the Black Pearl, and the other Pirates of the Caribbean. Jeff. Uh, Schumacher. Uh, no? No. Bill or Craig? Uh, 
Yeah, the, uh, oh. you're trying to hit it? Bill? I was trying to hit it, yes. Yeah, okay, Bill. Uh, Verbinski? Verbinski is correct. And uh, that'll end the third round. So we're going to go into the uh, latter round next, so stay tuned. Thank <laughs> you.